Hello, and welcome back to this guide on setting up the Google Ad Grant step-by-step -step for your ministry or nonprofit. Now, in this video, I want to talk about uh, just what do we do after we take this survey. And uh, the great news here is that Google has really, really refined this process. When I started, it was um, it was a miracle if you could get your grant turned on, and it is much more smooth than it used to be. So once you finish this quiz that we mentioned just above in the article, um, you will click submit and you'll go back to your Google for nonprofits account. And at some point, fairly shortly, it will say activate your account, uh, your Google ad grant account. So you're going to activate it. Once you click this, um, you're done with the Google grant setup process in terms of getting approved for it. And sometimes this can take an hour. Sometimes this can take three days. It kind of depends on whether or not the artificial intelligence, the automatic review process reviews your grant application, or if for some reason it's flagged and then you're reviewed by a committee. Um, and so once that's the case, once you're reviewed, um, you know, it'll say enrolled, I believe. And again, they're always changing these things, but usually it says something like enrolled in there on your Google for nonprofits account. Now, the way that you open a Google ads account, and there's sometimes a little confusion on this, and this is the purpose of this video is how do you get into that Google ads account? Do not go over to ads.google.com and try to open a new account. That is not a Google grant account. That is going to be a paid Google ads account. And then you're just going to have another account hanging around. What you need to do is go into the email that you signed up with for the Google for Nonprofits account. It has to be the email you signed up with, the Google for Nonprofits account. Say you signed up at, you know, info at, you know, XYZ org, you know, dot org. That exact email is the email that your Google for Nonprofits account will be created under. And you cannot log into it in any other way except to check that email and accept the invitation to open your Google Ads account. Once that Google Ads account is open, you can invite managers, you can bring in other people and make them administrators, but you have to start from that email. Now, here is, to just wrap up this video, a small word of caution. Now, I'm almost positive that all of these issues have been resolved. I haven't seen them in a while, but I do want you just to be aware of them because if they show up, the amount of time and chaos it is going to create for you is overwhelming. So there in the past at least was an issue where people could put billing information into their google grant account and not only that you'll actually see a banner here where it shows enter billing information it's a big red banner which was a huge bug because if you enter billing information into your google grant it will cease to be a google grant and then you will no longer have a google grant because the only email that you can have a Google grant on is the email that is linked to your Google for nonprofits account. And this created so many problems. I can't even tell you how many hours of my life I wasted figuring this out. So again, I think they have this resolved, but if at any point your Google grant account tells you to put in billing information or even gives you the option to put in billing information, do not do this um, or you'll probably be calling me. So anyway, with that, your Google Ads account at this point is set up and you're ready to begin doing your keyword research, building out your Google Ads account. Congratulations.